Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Campus. I'm Fiona and today I have a resin project. This is a 40 centimeter cradle board and I've already applied um, a light spray of um, paint to the base. I put some gold and some white and some blue. Then I've added a little bit of alcohol ink onto the top to give some variation under my colors, under my resin colors and applied some beach sand here and then some crushed quartz uh, down here for this will be my beach. Uh, so let's get started. <clears throat> now one of the most important things uh, when doing a resin project is to make sure that your board is level. Um, let's resin reached out to me and asked me if I needed anything and I saw this on their website and thought how good would that be because I've been having a lot of trouble with my table trying to get my board level. I've been using these underneath but um, it's still still not level. I can't adjust these. So let's open this. I think I have to put it together. So I will quickly do that. It comes with adjustable legs, uh, a silicon mat, and is this glass? This might be glass. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's a it's, it's a plastic, but it's got the um, leveling tool in the middle. So I'm going to set this up and we'll have a look. Okay, so I've set this up, and I have noticed with the bubble, it does move. But it has to be quite out of whack for you to level it. So it's probably fine for small projects, but because I'm doing something a bit bigger, I'm going to use my spirit level. So I'll put the silicon mat on, which is a perfect fit. Nice. And then I'm going to put my art risers onto this and then my piece of art on top of that and then I'm going to measure it. It looks good that way. I've got to be careful I don't stick because I've already put uh, something that's higher. Let's go on an angle like this. Okay so I think this side needs to come up and checking this way and this one needs to come up too okay that's pretty good i think i'm pretty happy with that okay so i'm going to be using the let's resin epoxy resin today i've got some just resin pigments that um, will give me some transparency i haven't used these two before i've got the bermuda bay and the dark turquoise and I'm going to also use some Let's Resin pigment uh, colours that will give me a little bit of bling. I've got some seashell here I thought might look nice in my sandy area. And then one of those, these two colours, I've got the cyan and the spring green, I'm going to use in amongst my ocean part. I haven't decided which, I'll wait to see which one goes best with my colours once I've mixed those up. Uh, and I'm going to get all my safety gear on, my um, my mask to pr protect me from vapours, uh, my goggles, my gloves and some plastic sleeves to protect my arms. I'll be back shortly. The best way to check the transparency, because that actually doesn't look that transparent, but if I hold up the stick you can see through it. And it's going to be very thin, the layer. So we're going to be doing a few layers. Let me grab, oh, too much maybe. I need to come out with the turquoise. Oh, that's a pretty colour. I love that. I've also got clear. Alright, I'm going to make up a little bit of seashell. 
and it's got this really beautiful gold tint to it. I think that will go nicely. I'm not adding any waves to this layer. I'm going to start with my Pia. I am going to want to go down my sides. I'm just going to put a bit of each colour down. Just to get a feel for it. And I might just start spreading that with my finger. So this is really the wet sand look. Okay, let's continue. And start pushing this to the edge. And go over the edge shortly. I'm going to mix that through. Add a little bit of this seashell. Pretty. I'm going to do my edges and get a bit of clear. And get my dark turquoise and bring that around the edge. everything covered. I'm going to blow that with a torch just to release the bubbles. So I've got lots of character. I've got you can see some of the dark bits on the top there. Especially through here, then I've got the little shiny bits. Okay, it's nice and dry. Uh, I've got a little lump in it, uh, or something's fallen in it, that um, hopefully I can cover up and it'll just look like a little uh, bit of detail or rock or something in there. Um, there's a few little hollow spots little divots so I don't know if that's where I've torched it a bit much um, but the blend here uh, it's so pretty I don't know if you can see the, the actual shine there it's lovely and the gold in here is really pretty too uh, you can see it shift yeah 
So the next step is to put in some waves. Now I'm going to add this color again, which was the uh, the dark turquoise. I mean, it looks it looks black in the container, but this is the color that it is, which is really pretty. And I'm going to make up probably three different blends of this going from dark to light. And then we'll have the clear, the white, which I'm going to use the Just Resins Titanium White. And I'm going to blow some waves. I'm going to use the Let's Resin Tabletop Epoxy for this. It's got a 25 minute working time um, and it's a bit thicker. So I'm hoping that that's going to give me a better result, possibly, with the edge. Um, I'll heat it up so that it moves. Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've mixed up all the colours here. Now remember, this is actually all the same colour, which is the dark turquoise, but I've made put different amounts in each. There's hardly any in this one. And then I've also got clear and my titanium white. So I'm going to start laying these down and let's see how it goes. Let's start with the dark. Looks very dark. I may actually change my mind on how dark this one is. So, I'm going to pour half out and I'm going to top it up with clear. I'm going to use this over the edge, I think. Because I want to make sure I get the edge covered well this time. It, it seemed to soak in last time. Alright, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to go to the next colour down. Happy with that? I'll pop this one up. Give it a bit of a mix. compare these colours. Yep. I just want a bit more of that colour through here. I'm actually quite liking that really dark colour at the top there now. Start to get my shape. Okay, let's get rid of some bubbles. Now I'm 
going to put my light down. I hope this goes well. Got my heat down. Popping some bubbles. Now, I don't think I've got enough white down, which is a surprise. Now, let's do a bit more. That's cool. Now I'm just going to get my torch. Alright, and then I'm just going to... cool as well. Okay, it's dry and it's looking fantastic. Uh, the 3D effects I wish you could see, they look really cool and uh, the patchingness underneath looks really good as well. I've got some nice shine from the um, spring green uh, mica powder. So I'm a bit nervous about doing another layer over the top, which was my plan all along, because I don't want to ruin it. What I'll do, so I'll do it quite see-through. Um, I had wondered whether to add a little bit of mica again, just to give a little bit of bling, and I'll do a thin layer of white. I won't go as heavy, I think. All right, I will get mixing for my next layer and uh, bring you back. Okay, so I've got my colors mixed up. Got a dark one, 
a medium one. This one is actually got a bit of the dark turquoise and a little bit of the spring green mixed in for a little bit of sparkle. And then I've got my titanium white and some clear. All right, I might start with this color, get a bit of an idea of my design. Because I need to put a clear bit. So I'm going to go dark at the top. I'm just going to brush that that way. And then go this way. Let's put a bit of this through. It's just got a bit of that shimmer. another layer of very thin layer of clear all right let's do the white
that down a bit. Yeah, that's better when I stretched it. but still see the variation which I'm happy about. Alright, just going to just to give this edge a little bit of a ridge. I think the rest is probably enough. But I just wanted to separate that a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cover this up. That lacing is gorgeous. And I'll bring it back when it's dry. Okay, so here is the final result. And I've been in lots of different rooms trying to get the best light on this. Because you can see the reflection of the window there. I'll take you this way and have a look at the waves. I love this loop. It's very cool. And this wet sand is just sparkling away when the light hits it. I've also got, I've got this other light here to show you the shimmer just in here. And up here. There's just very light shimmer through the top there, but then we've got like a block just here. Hmm. And it's very 3D, which is hard to see unless you see it in person. Yeah, so I really like this one. Definitely going to make more of these. I'll put a link in the description for the Let's Resin products because um, I use their alco alcohol inks and some of their pigments and the resin was Let's Resin as well. So I'll put that in the description. Um, if you use my link, I do earn a small commission so it helps out this channel. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.